I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Shiloh Generals. Today is Wednesday, March 23rd. I hope you all had an amazing digital learning day. Here at Shiloh Middle School, we're all inspired, invested, and involved. I am signed, and I'll be your SMS anchor for today. All Shell Generals exude pride every day. We are prepared. We have all of our supplies and utensils. We are respectful. We show kindness to our teachers, peers, and everybody else around us. We have integrity. We are making good choices when no one is around. We are disciplined. We have self-control under any circumstances. And last but not least, we are engaged. We are focused no matter what is going on around us. Students, don't forget they are required to pass five out of six subjects each semester for seventh and eighth grade promotion. Language arts and mathematics must be two of the si five subjects passed. Please be sure to have an official Shine Middle School Hall pass and visiting the Media Center. And don't forget, I read across the genre book report contest, where a genre is highlighted every month. The genre for this month is autobiography. An autobiography is a self-written account of one's life. Please stop by the Media Center to check out one of our autobiography books, secure, secure a book report form, and place a completed form in the blue basket located in the Media Center to be automatically eligible to win a prize. Our autobiography highlight for today is My Family Divided by Diane Guerrero. Before landing a spot on the mega-hit Netflix show Orange is the New Black, and before her incredible activism and work on immigration reform, Diane Guerrero was a young girl living in Boston. One day, while Guerrero was at school, her undocumented immigrant parents were taken from their home, detained, and deported. Guerrero's life, which had been full of the support of a loving family, was turned upside down. Reflected reflective of the experiences of millions of undocumented immigrant families in the United States. Guerrero's story in My Family Divided is uh, at once heartbreaking and hopeful. This title is available in our Shannon Middle School Library. Check it out one day. Students, stay connected with all the happenings at Shannon Middle School. All announcements and events are subject to change. Please check our e-class page daily for up-to-date announcements as well as our calendar on our website. The weather for today will be a high of 73 degrees and a low of 58 degrees and a 90% chance of precipitation. The lunch for today is chicken and cheese nachos, Big Daddy's pizza, and PB&J sandwiches. The fun fact for today is Disney acquired Pixar in 2006. The quote of the day is, The influence of a good teacher can never be erased by anonymous. Stay tuned for a special video presentation highlighting the March 14th Pi Day celebration at Shaw Middle School and our fabulous principal, Dr. Howard. Have a wonderful Wednesday and general salute. What's your last name? Jackie Lynn. Jackie Lynn's gonna pie me. 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 <laughs> you guys want to count down or you want me to count down? Uh, Ten, go. Nine, go. eight, seven, six, Well, good morning, Shiloh Generals. Guess what? I'm your proud principal, Dr. Shantae Howard, coming to you with another piece of women's history. Oh, and guess what? Did you know that we only have eight more days until spring break? You can do it. Finish strong. Finish strong. But as we continue Irish Women's History Month, I want you to celebrate that throughout history, women have been healers, caretakers, they, are play, they play multiple roles as pharmacists, nurses, midwives, counselors, physicians, and wise women. As early as 4000 BC, there were women who studied, taught, and practiced medicine. But did you know that the first Women's History Day was held in 1909? February 28, 1909 marked the first Women's History Day in New York City. It commemorated the one-year anniversary of the garment workers' strikes when 15,000 women marched through lower Manhattan. From 1909 to 1910, immigrant women who worked in garment factories held a strike to protest their working conditions. Most of them were teen girls who worked 12-hour days. And in one factory, Triangle Shirtwaist Company, employees were paid only $15 a week. 
History.com describes it as a true sweatshop. Young women worked in tight conditions at sewing machines and at the factories. Owners didn't even keep the factory up to safety codes. Isn't that sad? But here's another thing. So from 1909, that first day, to 1978, it took them to create a Women's History Week. 1909 to 1978, from one day to one week. An education task force in Sonoma County, California, kicked off Women's History Week in 1978 on March 8th, International Women's Day according to the National Women's History Alliance. They wanted to draw attention to the fact that women's history wasn't really included in K-12 curricula at that time. Think a teacher that is a woman because it's Women's History Month. It's Irish History Month. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. I want you to keep in mind that with March Madness continuing to go on, you have to finish strong because you can, because you are showing your shallow pride and you are modeling excellence every single day. And guess what else you're not doing? We don't fight. You're not fighting. You're not fighting here at Shiloh because if you fight, what happens? Yes, you will be sent to tribunal. We do not fight at Shiloh Middle School because we are too amazing and too phenomenal for that. Keep your cell phones locked. Keep your cell phones put away. Do not text, talk to, use, call Uber, call Uber Eats. Don't do all of that. Keep your cell phone away because this is your time for teaching and learning. With that, I absolutely love you with all my heart. Generals, salute.